Welcome back. In 2016, Kevin Chandler and his six friends set out on an incredible journey, dancing in the streets of Paris, hiking through the English countryside, and scaling the island of Skellig Michael. The trip was a big risk for Kevin, who has spinal muscular atrophy and was wheelchair bound. But that one step of faith turned into an adventure beyond their wildest dreams. Take a look. I was born with a disease called spinal muscular atrophy. I'm supposed to sit in a wheelchair, take supplements, and maybe work on a computer. But instead, I let a bunch of medically unqualified musicians put me in a backpack and carry me around the world. France to visit the home of Django Reinhardt, England to explore the world of Kensington. Ireland to brave the island of Skellig Michael, and then plenty of wiggle room in there for adventure to find us, if she pleased. And yeah, it was bound to hurt, but I'm alive. And I've seen the world as we all were meant to see it, big and beautiful and full of life. Nothing was out of reach. Oh my goodness. Oh, these pictures are amazing. Well, Kevin and friend Luke Thompson join us now. Kevin, uh, great to see you. Prior to this trip, you had been in a wheelchair 25 years. Can you describe what you were feeling when you left that wheelchair behind to go on this trip? Hey, yeah, um, it's kind of funny because I uh, I've been asked before, like, what was it like in that moment of leaving your wheelchair behind? But uh, we were in a rush to get to the airport and on the, on the airplane. And so in the moment, it just kind of happened. And uh, I had used the backpack before, so it felt like any other time of getting out of my chair and getting into the backpack. But um, it was about a week later on the trip when uh, I really, I, I wanted some time to myself. I wanted a moment to um wander off and, and do my own thing and realized i couldn't because i didn't have my wheelchair and mm -hmm. um i i really was faced with this moment of well my wheelchair gives me freedom in some ways and having this backpack gives me a, a freedom and an experience in another way and, and one isn't better than the other but they you know each one enriches life in its own way and um yeah, yeah that because of the backpack yeah because of the backpack i could have these crazy, amazing experiences with other people. Exactly. Well, Luke, you you weren't able to carry Kevin on your back due to a skateboarding injury, but you did document the experience with your camera. And in the book, you say this was a trip full of just unforgettable experiences. How did it change you? Well, well, I had no exposure to uh, this the disability community before this. Really, um, I knew Kevin. Um, but I hadn't spent a whole lot of time with them. Um, so this was really eye-opening to, you know, what people can do when they come together um, to kind of fill in the gaps in um, some of the abilities of those that you're around. And Kevin, back to you. Would you say that this was more of a faith journey or a physical journey or perhaps both? Oh, I, I would say it was definitely a mix of both. <laughs> yeah, there because we faced a lot of um, difficult things physically, but uh, around every corner there were also challenges um, spiritually and emotionally and uh, relationally, you know, as well. And um, got to have a lot of uh, very real conversations with the Lord along the way. Incredible. Um, and Luke, you know, these pictures are so amazing. Looking back now, what were some of the biggest joys and challenges that you faced? I think both of those can be answered by Skellig Michael. Um, that was a challenge that we thought we could take on, but we didn't know exactly how it was going to happen. And it all came together perfectly and it was beautiful, uh, but it was not easy. It was a lot of work, but totally, totally worth it. Yeah, I mean, I do some mountain climbing and and I know it's hard enough being able bodied and with my own backpack. But I mean, how did you how much does uh, Kevin weigh? Kevin, how much do you weigh? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, at, at the time I was I was about 65 pounds and then the 
the backpack is just under 10. So okay, the guys were yeah, trekking with 75 or 80 on their back. That's a, that's a good that's a good size backpack. All right. So uh, why was Kelly Michael this place in Ireland, this mountain in Ireland? Why was that so? Just because of the steepness. Yeah, logistically, we had to take a boat out there. Um, it's like a nine mile boat ride, a very small like fishing vessel. Um, so there's a lot of things you have to think about when it comes to like balance and kind of making sure everybody's secure and then stepping off the boat, very choppy water. Um, so there were like stages to it and then getting all the way up, stairs were very slick. It was raining uh, the day before. So um, yeah, there's a lot of thought had to go into it, but um, yeah, we were at that point prepared. That was the end of the trip. Um, so I think at that point we really had things kind of locked in. And Kevin, why did you write the book? What, and, and tell me again the title of your book and why did you write it? Uh, yeah, the book is called We Carry Kevin, which is, uh, it, that came from the name of the, the whole project, if you will. We did a, a fundraiser for the trip and, and uh, started a social media page and everything. And, and we call all of that We Carry Kevin with a focus being on the we, that it was, uh, it was everybody involved in making this happen. And um, and so I wrote the book um, for the same reason that we asked uh, Luke to to film the whole trip and and experience because uh, if you're going to do something that's crazy you you have to have proof right and um, we we had this amazing time and um, thought it was was worth sharing this story. And, and your heart now is to use this book to help other families, right? Mm, yeah. Um, so as we started doing the fundraiser and getting ready for the trip, we started hearing from uh, families from all over the world uh, asking us, where did we get the backpack? Where did, we get, where, did, where did I get these friends? And how are we making this happen? And so um, when we got back, we uh, I wrote the book and uh, we started a nonprofit also called We Carry Kevin, and uh, that nonprofit focuses on answering those questions uh, to those families um, because they continue to reach out, continue to ask questions. And, and so um, now, four years later, no, six years later, wow, uh, six years later, we're um, coming alongside those families. We're distributing uh, the backpack worldwide to families all over. Uh, right now we have about 650 around the world in over 30 countries. And um, we're making the experience that we had of, of making the world accessible, we're, we're passing that on to others and um, helping, helping people realize through example and through coming alongside them that uh, accessibility comes together when uh, when you have people with you and when you think creatively yeah. and outside the box. This is so so that, that's what we're doing now. So, in, so encouraging, so in, inspirational. Uh, thanks so much for being with us today, guys. And you can get a copy of the book, We Carry Kevin, wherever books are sold. And to keep up with the team, you can visit, the carrykevin dot, visit them at carrykevin.com.